I'm here with the head coach of Dawn Prep Academy out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jared Ward, uh, head varsity and head post grad football coach with Dawn Prep Cincinnati, Ohio. All right, what made you wanted to get involved in post grad athletics? Um, the opportunity to be able to give these kids the opportunity to uh, reach new heights, reach all of their goals that they may have for themselves, um, to be able to have another opportunity at all of the, the lifelong dreams and goals that they wanted to achieve as a young man. So if people talk about post-grad, it's kind of the chip on your shoulder league. So do you, do you find that these people, are, uh, these athletes are more willing to work harder than somebody who may be, you know, walking into some college and given free t-shirts and told they're the king of the campus and they don't have to earn it? Do you see that kind of fire and desire out of the players? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, our guys are very uh, aggressive when it comes to working hard. Um, they want to be the best and they want to be held accountable to everything that they do because um, they missed out on some opportunities that they believe that they should have and they have a lot to prove. Um, so when it comes to trying to prove those things, they know that hard work gets the job done. So. Uh, yes, when you are recruiting a kid to come to you, what's your main pitch? Do you want to talk about potential, about what they could do? Do you want to talk about where you can take them, how they grow? Give me your pitch. Uh, my pitch is development. Um, I want to create the best young man that I can create possible. Football is just the vehicle that we use. Um, so when it comes to academics and it comes to them being a good young man personally and professionally, we focus on them things first and then everything else just works on its own once we put the hard work into the football. Do you use the uh, old phrase, iron sharpens iron? Oh, yes. All all coach, I think every coach all has to have the iron sharpens iron as a man. Yeah, it's a mentality, yes sir. Yeah, it, 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 it's good coach speak. Uh, what are you looking forward to doing? I mean, this is obviously this is like a national league now. Yeah. So you're going to have some games all over the place. How are you going to deal with the travel? Because sometimes you're dealing with these kids that maybe just took district buses around, and now you got to travel kind of college, but you don't have the whole infrastructure. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, when it comes to that, uh, we just want to let the kids understand the privilege of being able to travel and being able to ride in charter buses and go and spend a night at a, at a nice hotel and wake up to hot breakfast before you go play a game on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon. Um, the privilege is, is, is one that we take a lot of pride in um, and we make sure that they understand it's a professional business. It's a business first. You have to present yourself the way that you want people to see you every time. So the moment you get ready to get on a bus, when you step off the bus, when you wake up in the morning, all those things are essential to you being the best that you can be. All right, we'll talk some X's and O's here. Yes, sir. So, You've got a lot of different college schemes, right? And as a coach, you, you're you focused on winning, but you're also focused on developing players. Yes, sir. Where would you put more effort into, right? If you had a choice between maybe trying out a new scheme, seeing if it'll help you win a game, or maybe something more bland that you can get more like work out of it, where where, do, where would you find yourself? Mm, I, I'm a scheme type of guy. Um, I always want to execute and develop a scheme that will give myself an edge um, over my opponent. Uh, so to be able to simplify a scheme is, is my forte, to be able to let the kids understand what they're doing individually uh, so that collectively as a team everybody can combine and understand what their job is and do that at their best ability. All right, well thank you, man. Uh, thank you, I appreciate you.